guys to the channel today we have here a fiat stilo 1.6 uh, petrol engine uh, this is the ecu and then um, this is the most cr common problem on these um, ecus from these cars in this case this car lost the um, the gas pedal so you would you would uh, hit the pedal <clears throat> but the car does not respond so these are the pins uh, for the plug in the CCU. Uh, these are the most common uh, common problems in these cars. They um, are mounted on top of the engine. The vibration and the heat of the engine they uh, cause these um, these pins to crack the solder the solder points because when the metal uh, gets warmer it expands and um, when it cools down it contracts so all of these cycles these heating cycles they cause the um, the, the solder, solder points to crack and um, that's what uh, that's what it usually happens with these ECUs so first off we are going to start by cleaning <coughs> with some some alcohol and a toothbrush or some 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 type of brush and uh, clean everything <clears throat> after that we are going to apply some uh, well some hot air to just to dry everything and so that we can actually see it clearly uh, where it needs to be soldered well it doesn't really matter because I'm going to solder every single point there and then to, just to make sure that, that even if um, even if it's not broken already, it might be on its way because it, it go every single solder point goes through the same process as all the other ones. So um, might as well do it, do all of them. This ECU came to me already opened as it is. Uh, I think it has been soldered uh, before. Um, Maybe not the, in the, with the best materials, best solder, best flux. So now I'm applying some flux here, just uh, enough to help the, the, the solder uh, get, get really in, inside and um, make uh, the best con contact possible. Um, so yeah, after that, I'm going to be using my um, uh, old school soldering gun. This uh, it's up really fast. Uh, it's really practical because of it. But um, this is just to test what kind of solder we have here. I probably will use my um, 3540 watt <coughs> soldering iron with some fresh solder, some 60, 40 percent. Um, solder so that I can uh, have it all uh, chromed lo looking like it's um, it's uh, brand new Okay, so now I'm going to be removing um, the old solder where I see there is um, a lot, a lot of it, and uh, this is no good. Not, not this kind of solder. It's really um, you can you can feel like there is pores, uh, pores in um, in the in the solder itself. It shouldn't look like that. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm going to be removing as much as I can. Uh, don't really have to remove it all because uh, 
uh, it will melt together with my solder and uh, will make a really nice connection but uh, still I'm going to be removing uh, the most most of it so um, it will leave place for um, a brand new solder we're adding some more uh, flux so now we are going to put some solder <coughs> Uh, some new solder, some high quality and uh, we'll see how it goes So now I'm going to be using my uh, 40 watt um, soldering iron to add some nice solder to this to make uh, nice connections. The other soldering iron was too big and I, um, I would risk to uh, solder a few pins together. <coughs> so this way I'm sure that that won't happen. As you can see the solder points now look uh, chrome and um, with brand new solder so <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that uh, the problem with the car was fixed.
so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video